Believe it or not, Jeff Clifton of Collingwood was reported in this incident with Sid Jackson. Jackson wasn't reported and Clifton wasn't suspended. A wing position. Hooks it in nicely for a big fellow. Thumps it onto the left foot. Up towards uh, half-back flank. And Clifton in the van for Collingwood. Takes the mark. A bit of uh, rough stuff going on there. Jeff Clifton has the ball. Henry's uh, being pointed to by, my, by Clifton. And umpire Robinson calms the tempers down. And Clifton boots it towards the centre of the field. Thompson pushed out. It comes, then he'll get the kick for it. I was waiting for it. Umpire Robinson was a little delayed in his uh, decision there. Thompson thumps it right down to the full forward zone. Heard is underneath it. It goes off his hands into the hands of Douge. Douge is uh, knocked out of the way. A hand pass by Beck goes across to Atkinson. He High to spoil with Keogh at the back, awaits the crumb. He forces it to the turf. A chance now for Clifton with the ball under him. Clifton got out nicely. A hand pass to Price. Price hand passes to Thompson. Thompson back now to Price. Price coming from centre half back. This is beautiful football being played at BFL Park. The pass not that good. The mark not taken, but the free kick has been awarded. And the uh, kick will be taken by Wayne Richardson. Wayne Richardson from just on half forward flank, looking downfield toward Big Bob Hurd. The kick by Wayne Richardson from the side of the boot toward Bob Hurd. Hurd getting up, can't coming off the ground. A big blow for Collingwood, but the short pass is on to Cranage, and Cranage barking for Collingwood in the back pocket area. Mackay being called back on the mark as Paul Cranage comes in to take his kick, and uh, kicks it high, and a few words being spoken down there at centre half. The scoreboard showing that Carlton are trailing on 1-5-11, Collingwood on 4-8-32. This is the dying moments of the first quarter at VFL Park of the second semi-final. Toward Thompson, the kick is travelling, but the man taking the mark, the high-flying Robert Dean of Collingwood. He's at centre-half back, looking for Graham Jenkins at centre-half forward. The kick going toward Jenkins. He's in Robbie Walls. We'll be back to Jeff Clifton to drive the ball into play. Just uh, there's a story of the, the uh, game on the board. Just having looked downfield, and uh, believe you me, the runners are certainly being well worked today. Jeff Clifton defending out towards the grandstand side of the ground. Peter Jones into the back of Thompson, and Dean chipping and marking easily. That's Robert a good Dean. move. That's the second time that Thompson and Jones have competed, and Dean chipped in to take the mark. The kick's up toward Bissett in the centre of VFL Park. Bissett takes the mark, and umpire Robinson said, it's yours, you can play on now, which he does. Looks for Max Richardson. He's uh, being chased by Kevin Hall. The ball on the turf in front of this pair. Neither can grab it as yet. Oh, Richardson well recovered there. He picked it up nicely. He left puts it up towards the half-forward zone. It's beaten all. And now has been replaced by Brian Quirk. The ball coming back into play, dropping short and taken by Doug Gott. He takes the mark, goes for the bounce straight away, gets a left foot kick up towards the centre wing position and finds Alan Atkinson. Atkinson uh, trying to play on, finally gets away and he too bounces as centre gets it clear. A long hand pass by Atkinson of Beauty and Collingwood. Further only four points the difference, nine and a half minutes into the second quarter and Carlton looking the better side at this stage. The kick in will come from Clifton looking for Thompson. Thompson won't get to this one, Robert Dean will fly. A warning for the Collingwood trainer. He doesn't appear injured in any way, looking for a wet towel, that's about all it is. He hasn't had much to do, or hasn't done much in this game. Jones has tailed Thompson for most of the day, but now it's Clifton coming in looking for Thompson, who has the front berth at present in front of Peter Jones. There they both fly, Jones into the back of Thompson, this one will be paid. I noticed then uh, that when Thompson and Jones were going for the mark, Robert Dean had taken up his position on the side, ready to chip in. But uh, a free kick to Lynn Thompson put paid to that little plan as Thompson comes in, puts the ball up towards centre wing. Dixon in good position, but Dean chipping in, and by Crikey, he's playing well. He's taking a lot of marks today, Robert Dean. Bob Hurd is calling for the ball on the up in the half-forward flank area. It's been kicked in this direction. Jenkins in front, and Hurd, well, they will compete. The man in front, Graham Jenkins, has been paid the mark in front of his teammate, Bob Hurd. The ball is on half-forward flank for Collingwood, with Collingwood kicking to the southern end of VFL Park, but the scores are showing on the little board there. There's only three points of difference with Collingwood in front. The short pass by Jenkins can't find Wayne Richardson. It's into the... Uh, don't move anywhere. They stay on a two-point lead. And uh, we're down there with Jeff Clifton into the time on period just before half time as Clifton puts boot the ball kicks it high the big men fly Jenkins coming in walls in front everyone pretty big corner that player but it's back to the back pocket area for Collingwood Jeff Clifton in command as he puts the ball high Mackay in front heard from behind Salmon's there also but as Bob Hurd brings it down half back Frank Hurd looks around looks for the chance of the short pass Collingwood would be well advised to boot it long as Hurd puts a 40 metre kick back towards centre wing in they come from Armstrong Frank, I see Price on a half-forward uh, flank for Collingwood. 
There's the kick in from Clifton. It's getting close to the line. A chance for Robert Dean and Quirk. They're doing battle. Vital final quarter at VFL Park. Slowly but surely, Carlton closing the gap. And McKenna stared one through three minutes and 40 seconds of the last term. Collingwood went to a 15-point lead, but now only seven points separates the sides. Jones McK and uh, bring the sides just on 10 minutes into the final term. That was a bad mistake by the Collingwood defence, Frank, trying to outmark David Mackay, one of the best high marks in the game today. And the likes of Clifton and Gott trying to outmark this chap is suicide football. They should go for the big punch all the time and spoil at all times. There's the kick in toward Thompson. Jones and Thompson. Brian Quirk from that position looks across towards centre half forward and let's go with a magnificent kick up they fly from behind was Good Davis mark. in front there was Clifton Clifton taking that mark some 25 metres out from Carlton's goal as Clifton goes across the ground now finds Doug Gott Gott getting round Nichols Nichols couldn't quite grab hold of him as Gott runs up towards the half back flank looks for his up, there's a kick from Stephen Ray now players set themselves man in front taken there by Cranage. Cranage goes to the flank position on the outer side Clifton moves into position Clifton running through the half-back flank area. Kicks up towards the wing on that... Richmond Walsh recovers it. Swings the ball down forward. It could have been after the kick, but a good one for him on that occasion. As we see, now it's Clifton coming away for Collingwood. It could have been that against Clifton again for holding the ball, but it's called play on as Clifton drives the ball towards Oborn. He was in fine position then, Mike. He made perfect position to get in front of the pack and take the big knock that was obviously going to come down, and he was quick to put it through. Unfortunately, he was offline. As Clifton puts it, kick up. It was a great effort to mark by both Roberts and Clifton, taken by William Alf. William Alf's kick wide to the half forward flank. You don't like somebody, and don't you like Dylan? I never said anything about it. I asked your opinion. I never made any comment at all. As it will rise to the occasion when he's really needed. He's got to keep at it, though, Bob, now, after that. You I know, you'd be uh, inclined to think, hell, my luck's out. But they're worried about the height of Thompson as well, Mike. And the mobility of him, too, because McGee, uh, the boy they put on him, is a very mobile player. Unbelievable. There's uh, Gott now with a sleeveless Guernsey. As Clifton kicks out, Clifton goes straight up the centre, playing confidently. Up goes Francis Burke, couldn't get the grab. Dean pushes the ball forward and he'll get a free kick too. He's playing well, Dean. Dean goes towards the wing position. He's down on that half-back line. Butler's kick, dropping short, it's punched away by Hearn. Goes to Bissett again. Bissett a hand pass across to Clifton. And Collingwood stream down the ground as Clifton gets a hand pass across. Taken by Holmes. Holmes back to Clifton. Clifton goes over the top again to Atkinson. Atkinson further down the ground to Thompson. Thompson runs back the wrong way. Now gets a kick back into the centre of the ground. And it's back to Dixon. And Dick Clay's gone onto the forward line for the Tigers. Kick now from Max Richardson. It's a long one to the edge of the goals. And when you're, you know, when you're going bad, everything seems to go against you. Into time on at the moment as Clifton is about to put the ball back into play with Richmond 3-6, trailing Collingwood 10-7 as Clifton goes straight up the centre of the ground. Jacob oh! from behind, put his foot right in the middle of Joe Roberts' back. Roberts appealing to the umpire, but there's nothing wrong with that one as Jenkins Jen Jen did not take his eye off the ball. Jenkins, another lovely drop kick straight down the centre of the ground. Oh, boy. The second quarter. Clifton about to kick out, kicking out from the Richmond end. Enormous crowd here. Clifton's kick now comes slightly towards the member stand. Flank on, oh, Jenkins, Jenkins takes another towering mark. Runs around, he's got a bit carried away. Goes towards the weak position on the outer side. Taken by Holmes, Holmes to Cranage, and Cranage is down, you saw that. And here's a breakaway now, Atkinson pushing the ball in front of him. Atkinson breaking clear, he's got plenty of pace. His kick is a high one towards the pocket. Pink is there. Sheedy does a rough rover, Burke to half-back flank. As a short one goes out to Adamson, unfortunately uh, for Collingwood, Royce Hart couldn't quite get there in time, and Adamson took the mark. Clay has gone back to full-back, and McGee to centre half-back. As Adamson goes straight up to the centre of the ground, Burke's up from uh, at long if they hadn't, Mike, as uh, Hafey had to be uh, stirred them up, and I think the scoreboard alone would have stirred them up as they all got together at half-time. Waiting now for Clifton to kick out from the scoreboard end. There's the kick. He goes straight up the centre. Will this come off? Picks the ball up, drives it towards Barham. It's Barham and Clifton. It's over their head. It's towards the goal. Clifton up high. Great defensive play by Clifton as he desperately got up over the top of Barham and punched the ball out of bounds. Half 66. 
15 points of difference, a short one out now from Clifton, almost dropped by Salmon, back to Clifton, don't fiddle around, you'll lose it, over towards Adamson, Adamson a hand pass to Cranage, Cranage of Collingwood coming through now, up towards centre half forward, McGee. 15, Collingwood 12-9, Richmond have kicked five goals, six, as we see a short one, one that shouldn't have been allowed by the Tigers, now they go short again, coming across was Wood. Unfortunately for Collingwood, umpire Della says that Wood couldn't punch the ball away. As Salmon, Salmon puts the ball high up in the air, it's a bad kick from Salmon. And a power courage, plus Mabissa just come across and take the mark. He goes on quickly, puts it to the half. Attempt even to get his kick. Clifton now tries a short one out here, it comes off, it goes to Salmon. Salmon of Collingwood, it's five points of difference. Ron. As we see the throwing take place over there, Clifton comes out with the ball. He's had his hands full all day, but he's stuck to the difference. And we're coming up to the 18-minute mark into the final quarter. Kick out goes towards Gott. Just got there. Gott now taking a bit of a run. Puts his left foot into it. Drives to the half forward flank. There's a race on here. He'll come out with a ball. It's pushed forward there by Manasseh. He gets into trouble. Ball bounces. Hart's in there. Hart hooks it around. Here's a chance now for uh, Adamson. He gets it over to uh, Clifton. Clifton tries a hand pass to Salmon. It's a long kick. Up into the wing position. Taken by Walsh. Over to Nichols. Nichols with uh, gain 322. Kicks downfield. And Georgie Bissett on the line. That gallant little man. That wonderful personality. That great player, Mr Bissett. Well, Georgie Bissett, as so often he does, in that last line of defence in the final quarter. Thumped away. Dean tries to take it. It's Clifton who comes through the pack. He meets a solid one and he'll get the free kick, Clifton. As you saw the head go back.